It's time to drop the hammer. Well, that didn't work out well for Ezreal. Kind of slipped to the outside, let two cars, maybe three cars slide on through as they race down into turn number one. And here comes Baloo back in the mid-pack. Now, Robin Balloon trying to make something happen. Meanwhile, Matt Westfall is in second for now as they come off at turn four. We got a scattering, smattering, and covering coming out. Turn number four and down to front straight away. Still three wide down into the corner. Balloon right through the middle. Slide job out across the racetrack. Westfall still lies ahead second on the field. Seavey still solid as Bacon's Bacon, off the pace. Bacon's off the pace. Oh, huge, no. Huge, huge. Oh my goodness, he is headed pit side, not to the Indy Metal finishing work area. Tough break for Brady Bacon. Oh my goodness. See me keeping him up on the high side of the racetrack. Westfall's right there with him. Punch the throttle, and we're back underway. There it goes Grant down to the inside. Bold move on Team Mez. Mez rolls, got room to the outside. The lane was there. Grant finally shut it in his face. Yep, there he is right where he's very comfortable getting on the high side. Gave him opportunity back behind. Here comes the run out. Jay Stocking now wants to go three wide with Briggs Danner and CJ Leary as Leary dodges down low. Slide job coming out of the madman. Robert Blue trying to put one on the 5S car. Stocking can't quite get back to the inside. As they do that, they kick dirt up across the middle of the racetrack and kind of slow that portion right. down. Let's look who's hot on his heels now. Blue goes to the bottom of the racetrack for the number 12 car. There's a slide job for the number two spot trying to make a big move. For the number four, is able to get around Westfall. Yep, Justin Grant has now moved to the second position. We'll see if he holds it coming in across the start finish line, and he will. And then we'll begin to monitor the gap between Logan Seavey and Justin Grant, the two drivers who have been the hottest in the USAC inventory. Let's give it a hop, skip it a jump down in turn number three and four, separating out. Oop, hang on to a Grant just tagged the wall with the right rear on that number four car. The battle sits back at about the number four, fifth, and sixth spot. There's a lot of pressure being applied down in the corner from Timez on the 15X car. They were slicey dicey just in front of CV. CV's going to break down low. Here's the opportunity wow. for Grant to run off a lot of real estate on CV in a 2B car, and here comes the number four. Now it is definitely on. Both of them slip into the lap traffic down the corner. CV trying to drive up across. Grant's going to keep the nose down on the inside. You'll have a drag race out of turn number two and down the back straightaway. Three R car, Cody Swanson, saw what was taking place. You saw him back out of the throttle. He said, you know what? You go ahead, boys. I'll just wait back here. Grant now takes a peek down low. CV slips up to the high side down into turn number one. Justin Grant back by four car lengths with three laps to go. Out of turn number two and down the back straight away. We charge into turn number three. Two to go this time out of turn number four. And Justin got a good run out of turn number two and really closed the gap some. He may have one chance and one chance only to take the top spot away from Logan Seavey. There again, catches that little ease into the crease. Seavey just off the top shelf. Grant again now within two car lengths. Down into turn number three. He's going to try to time this perfectly. Yes. Waiting in the weeds a little bit. Two to go. Now the white flag comes out. This is it. Oh, or nothing at the four crown. Looks like Logan has put a little bit more gap between him and Justin Grant. So go into turn number three. White flag is out. And I think Logan's going to get it done. Yeah, 50 I believe he's got it. Now with the books. There you go. Two into victory lane for the 2B car, Logan CV. As he comes up and out of the race car again. How about it? Logan CV. Well, hey, when you're on, you're on, and Logan Seavey is on. That's his second win of the night here at the Four Crown Nationals presented by NK Telco. He's going to celebrate with his team. It's like it never gets old, and I'm sure that it doesn't just a few weekends ago. This 2B Bennett Enterprises team picked up their first win of the Amsoil USAC National Sprint Car season. You can't say that anymore. Scrap that. This is their second. Two in just a few short weeks, and Logan obviously had all those laps beforehand to prepare for this, but when you go nearly unchallenged on the top side, is there any reason to ever move? No, you know, like I said earlier, these, uh, the guys that are good, you know, win on the top every time. I feel like uh, I came here once with Derek, and I, I tried to run around the middle, and our car was really good, but uh, we got beat by guys that were able to, you know, pound the top, so I was uh, pretty much just committed to ripping it, and uh, man, I got a little soft there in traffic, and I could see uh, Grant was closing in, and I was just, you know, trying to 
get myself a little better. I got a little free underneath it, and uh, man, it's so tricky to get through three and four. And I feel like he was kind of close there in the middle of the race, and and then I got away, and then I saw him, uh, you know, pretty close there the last few. So, um, man, yeah, you just can never uh, give up. Um, if you if you mess up, you just got to go back after it and attack it harder. And uh, that's kind of what we did there. I just kept getting into three higher and and harder, and uh, my car kept getting better and better. So, um, yeah, just never giving up. You know, another one where we weren't the, the greatest uh, to start tonight, but uh, you know, I trust. Trust these guys as much as anybody to, to get me fast here late in the race. And, uh, man, yeah, like I keep saying, this, this is a place I love coming to, and uh, we only got one more. It got really serious there for a moment when you saw the four poking nose. How were you trying to use lap traffic to your advantage there? Yeah, like I said, I just got soft there, you know, following Cody and, um, you know, just running too soft of a pace. And it's harder to run the top here when you go in slower and you lose all your grip. And, um, you know, I just had to talk myself into running in hard again and uh, getting in the corners harder and getting back to the throttle harder. And, um, yeah, then I kind of got going and, um, you know, didn't clear a slider once and I thought I was really in trouble, but was able to, you know, pick off a couple lap cars there for a lap or two and give myself a little bit of a gap. But yeah, like I said, uh, this to be honest, Dave Roofing, uh, car is so good. You know, Scott Bennick, uh, Derek Clax and Matt Meeks, they do a great job and I'm just, uh, have so much fun racing with these guys and so cool to, you know, turn our season around here and grab a couple couple wins. You can see it on his face, how technical the racetrack is, how challenging it is to win here at the Eldora Speedway, but it makes it so much more rewarding when you do. Logan Seavey picks up two tonight so far at the Four Crown Nationals. He's got one more opportunity to get it done.